Hi everyone. So I decided to run a test using various epoxies, toughened and regular CA. And then I went down to some of the structural adhesives epoxies. And basically I just used ordinary popsicle sticks. I initially cleaned it with alcohol. I sanded the last inch indicated by the line with 180 uh, sorry, 120 grit sandpaper. Then I dusted it off again. I passed in all the alcohols pass with a wipe. Each one was a different alcohol wipe. Therefore, there was no cross contamination. These samples have sat for one week with a small uh, um, wedge grip. And I just did uh, a shear and a peel sample for each. And here are the results. So this is a 15 minute epoxy from a very popular hobby brand. And as you can tell, with each, both on the shear and the peel tests, the actual adhesive let go and the wood is completely intact. I next went with a, another hobby brand, very popular Instacure, which is a CA. Once again, the shear and the peel tests. You can see on the shear tests, it wasn't the best results. There was a little bit of the adhesive letting go itself and then the wood, but in the peel test, there was actually no, same thing, very, very little, as you can tell at the edge here. It's a 30 minute epoxy. The results in 30 minutes were actually quite good both on the shear test, on the peel test, the wood substrate actually left behind its own grain. So that means the glue itself did not give. Next we get into the ISC 2000, which is a rubber uh, toughened and carbon toughened CA. As you can tell with the shear tests, some of it let go, some of it did not. <clears throat> and with the peel test, no matter what I did, <clears throat> it would never hold. So for peel, this is highly not recommended. Now we get into a very popular one hour, 60 minute, once again, shear and peel tests. As you can tell, the shear tests, it completely let go. All the wood grains are intact. On the peel tests, we have just a little bit in the bottom left corner. Otherwise, same thing, the actual adhesive let go. This conclusion was a shocker. This is Ordinary Carpenter's Wood Glue, a very popular brand you can pick up at Home Depot and Canadian Tire. And on this test, both on shearing peel the glue outperformed all the above epoxies in CA. That's quite interesting. As you can tell with both, the wood actually broke and let go. Now we're heading into the structural grade. This is the Hysol 20 HP. And as you can tell, in this particular case, same thing. Both on shear and peel, the wood substrate is what let go and the adhesive itself is fully intact. And last but not least, high saw 9462. Same results as the above. The adhesive is completely intact and the wood substrate was the weaker of the two, which is the results you want to see. So basically, based on the results, I am definitely would go with the high saw products. I'm very astonished with the wood. However, I would not use the wood on things like carbon fiber or fiberglass. However, in saying that, I will be running some further tests conducting that. Why well, I want to do peel and shear strengths with carbon fiber and fiberglass control horns. Thank you for watching. Hopefully these results show a little more evidence to the ongoing discussions online as to what to use to build RC models. Take care.